and good day today we're having a bit of a look at this it's a little uh, carbon fiber composite digital uh, caliper now I bought this from Gearbest it's uh, not the cheapest one they've got it's also not the dearest but uh, it comes in this nice little handy case I'm uh, pretty impressed with it the only thing I'm not so happy with is the fact that the little battery cover here that is very 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 loose so that'll come off quite easy as you can see so I'm uh, going to have to do something to tighten that up I might put a little bit of um, a bit of blue tack or something in the corner which will hold it um, the uh, caliper itself you just simply hit the button there to reset you've got a choice of millimeters or inches by pressing the button on the top of course on a button on the side here it uh, works quite nicely you've got the um, inside hole dimension here you've got uh, outer dimensions on this one you've got a depth gauge on the bottom now I bought this uh, particular uh, gauge to go with my 3D printer uh, which hasn't arrived yet it's uh, still sitting over in China probably uh, still in the recycle bin waiting to be uh, mashed up and uh, made into metal but <laughs> that'll come eventually uh, in between time I've got something to play with and uh, I'll have a bit of a tinker with it we'll um, check out what it looks like with my little git2 camera which just happens to be laying around so we'll do some measurements on it and uh, here's my little git up git2 and uh, the caliper and we'll have a bit of fun with it okay yep it's uh, Yeah, it seems to be working all right. The measurements are about correct. Yeah, so overall pretty impressed. It, oh, by the way, it does turn itself off if uh, if you leave it turned on for a long time. Well, that's interesting. Every time you move it, it actually activates. So that's uh, yeah, kind of kind of handy little feature. I didn't realise it would do that. Zero it out, yep. Hmm. Now oh, you learn something as you go along. I'll just turn that over so you can read the uh, stuff on the back there. For those that are interested. And those that aren't interested, well, bad luck, you're getting to read it anyway. Now to test this uh, little claim of being carbon fibre. Just so you can see, I'll just touch the multimeter uh, together. You can see we've got a continuity through it and uh, we'll check a section here oh, it's a very unusual plastic I've uh, never seen a composite supposedly like this before so if I can get my hands into into work and you can see we're not getting any anything going through we'll try the middle row again nothing and we'll try the other side just in case I've missed something and nothing so um, hmm I'm not certain about whether that claim is correct or not uh, maybe it's made on a machine that actually does handle carbon fiber composites but uh, the material that this is uh, made of to me just looks like ordinary plastic or oh, maybe the end is composite we'll, we'll give this a crack I'll give it a benefit of the doubt eh? I'll just see what happens here if I can manipulate myself Ever since I've hurt my hand, it's very difficult to do things. Let's have a gain to here. No, nothing. Okay, so I would say that that is, uh, well, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Maybe it's got a grain of um, carbon fibre in the, in the drummer plastic somewhere, but it's definitely uh, not carbon fibre.